Oh God. Mm. Yeah. Greetings. Hey, Grindel, welcome. Thank you for coming. Max here. I'm glad to be here. Um, so what, what's up with Israel? It's at 8.45 in Israel right now. Um, any updates on it? Um, on the updates, I'm doing a lot of secret work there. Um, things are coming into alignment with everything mm -hmm. in the Middle East. I know that it's not perfect, not perfect, but it is um, about 30% better than when I went in. So that's an improvement. It's still not where I want to be, but uh, I can't stay here forever. So uh, we have to end the mission in uh, the end of November. Uh, so the explosion in Lebanon looked like it was uh, made very smartly by Mossad. Is it right? Yeah, I think they had something to do with it. They, it's hard to pinpoint uh, all the different uh, things that are going on right there because the information coming out of there is very mixed but we sent people in there as well not for the explosion but for other things for um, for spying and other things like that I can't tell you where but um, the thing is uh, yes that explosion was very strategically planned all right. And the reaction to it, I mean, most of the information about the politics we find out from, from the lies. When the media start li starts lying in a very organized fashion, you know that, you know, they try to confuse you. And with Lebanon, it was the same thing. They accepted the, uh, the official official explanation too soon so that was a, a suspicious sign yeah yeah <laughs> um but it did help israel uh -huh. and so the israel israel was very happy to accept that information um and they were happy to give their own information about it that they had nothing to do with it and it, this was something that uh, knocked out the some of the competition and things of this nature so uh -huh. um so it was um positive news for israel i see and nowadays you never know what's positive what's negative it's all messed up yeah it's hard to say um i didn't i didn't actually take it as well as some of the others because i have a feeling There'll be a reaction from that from somewhere. Who knows of course. where? But I feel of course. I'm always on the lookout for a reaction. Of course, of course, yep. It's uh, surprising there was no immediate reaction, yeah. Yeah, I'm. Uh, that was a surprise for me. I thought there would be within a couple hours or days something, but nothing. <clears throat> which um, speaks about the, the things that orchestrated. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Because, you know, when it's orchestrated, the karma doesn't work. Exactly. The, the karma doesn't work. The immediate karma doesn't work, yeah. Yeah, so there's something going on there that we don't know about, I'm sure. So what's up with the new viruses? Are they coming? Yeah, it, uh, well, uh, let me say this about that. There is a possibility that there is something else coming. We are trying our best to stop it. Uh, we meaning those outside of the planet, because uh, there are those on the planet that would have greater diseases coming or a an increase of this disease in a worse kind of way. So it is not yet uh, secure on your earth for, uh, for that disease. It's not over yet. 
Yeah, I think that uh, COVID was permitted by the aliens because uh, it's not that devastating. It's more like a uh, psychological operation rather than uh, actual yeah, uh, damage. So but but uh, I'm pretty sure the aliens have the waves that can calm down uh, the, this kind of pandemics pretty easily. The thing is, there this was not as easily spread as they wanted it to be. Otherwise, everybody would be sick. So it, it's a really devastating disease. However, it's not spreading that fast, which is good. But they want it to spread faster and be more devastating. So that is what the news is uh, the from the cosmic world. So um, I am trying to uh, find out where they are trying to make this disease even greater. So right now, I don't think there is a greater form of it. But I, when the fall comes, that's when sickness weather comes. It could be, it could rise up as being more devastating. Sometime in early March, it was the very beginning of pandemic. Um, I saw that uh, no, we live here near. Uh, a uh, couple of military bases. One is uh, for the f Air, Air, Air Force, another is for the uh, uh, Navy. And I saw lots of activity on the streets, like uh, military cars moving around, uh, some police uh, kind of uh, guarding the way. So I just wonder what it was. It was well, half a year ago, but uh, yeah. what were they expecting? Well, they were expecting to have to stop people from coming into your country and uh, giving them the directives that they needed to uh, be isolated. And that didn't happen? Not the way that it was supposed to. What, 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 why not? What, what happened? Um, it broke down because the, air, the uh, armed forces decided they did not want to get close to those people that might have the disease. So there was a great deal of upper brass that were saying, hey, if we lose our army, we have nothing. And if this is so contagious, then we, don't, we shouldn't chance it. We shouldn't make our people go there. Let them take care of the, the situation themselves. Let's see what happens. Wow. That's an interesting development. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> so, um, so what was the initial plan of the cabal like back in, when they seeded it? What did they expect? I the plans have not changed. Uh, they're they're still planning to do several things which have been disclosed. Some of their planning has not been disclosed, and so we don't know what that is. But some things have leaked out, such as the uh, unified uh, money system and the depopulation of the planet. Those things have leaked out. I don't know how, but they have. And, um, but they're, I'm sure, have a lot more plans to get what they want even faster because with people knowing that they have these thoughts and plans, they're gonna try to be working against that. So now they have to round things up a little bit faster. They have to do things more efficiently and more uh, swiftly. So they're trying to do what they can to make this as fast as possible. They want to do this quickly. Are they running out of uh, resources? Uh, no, the Cabal has uh, more resources than you can imagine. They are trillionaires. They are, but and they have connections off world as well. But eventually they should. They should what? Run out of resources. Mm, when you control as much as they do, you can get uh, help from a lot of different places. They uh, have so much help, but nobody knows who they're helping. Okay, okay. I still doubt they, that they have so they, much, you know. They have a lot of 
they own a lot of factories, they own a lot of businesses, and a lot of people are working for these businesses. And they can get the information from these businesses whenever they need to from uh, some of their uh, closest cronies in those areas. So, um, and a lot of times these people don't even know who they're talking to. They'll use an alias uh, or they'll tell them to tell so-and-so uh, what's going on and that'll be them and they don't even know that they're uh, who they are, so. Yeah, I, I don't know. In Soviet Union, we also thought that the, the government has all possible resources and then we discovered that it is bankrupt. So it's, it's, it's the question of, you know, the system is also very fragile yeah. because it's built on secrecy. Whenever secrecy fails, they lose a lot. Well, yes, secrecy has failed for them. Otherwise you wouldn't know any part of their plan. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, I have a... To, so someone had to pay the price for that. I don't know who that was, but I'm sure that who, they know exactly who spread it and how it got out. So I feel bad for that person. <laughs> so my, my latest uh, understanding was that none of the public figures actually knows what cabal is and, and how and uh, no, they don't who they really are. know. It's a word, but it doesn't really mean anything. <laughs> it is the seventh or a seven or eight greatest people on the planet, most powerful, most uh, influential, but nobody knows who they are because they don't show their influence in, uh, in ways that the public can see them, not necessarily. They may live in a huge house, but way out in the middle of nowhere with their own private jets and everything to communicate with society, but no one knows where they live, what they're doing. They have places that are very secretive. All right, I have a personal question, so I will uh, turn off the recording here. I mean, I will delete this part of the recording. Right. Um, so I, um, I have uh, Perry and um, Sean, um, my partners in, in, uh, vibe, in the vibe business, and um, uh, I, I believe they're pretty much reptilian, so I wonder if we can look at them and see what's, what's happening now, because there is some 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 secret uh, they had some secret which i didn't know they, they we spoke about 10 days ago and they were about to meet with the investors and they were too sweet and too secretive yeah they have, they have more money than you think okay um so they're not being completely transparent but they will come clean eventually but they want they need to invest more money into this project so in order to do that, they can't tell you how much money they really have. That's what I think I see. Right. Um, what should I do? Wait, because there's nothing you can do. Okay. So why did they uh, try to please me? They want you on their side. They know that you are an inventor. They know that there might be other ideas that you come up with that can make money. So they want you always on their good side. Okay. Um, so there is nothing to do actually, right? Um, Not at the moment. And just relax Let and them, enjoy their you. Let them come to you. That's the way it's going to work anyway. Ah. All right. He's telling me I have to go. Right. Yeah, yeah, okay. Thank you very much. Uh, great um, talking to you and thank you for your uh, help. Um, yeah, yeah. Both uh, public uh, public uh, speech and uh, personal answers were very helpful. Thanks, thanks. I will uh, talk to you in a little while. All right, bye-bye. Right. Bye-bye, thank you. All right, now, now. yeah.
Hello. Oh, Jim, welcome back.